I'm Mike Michelizzi, a member of the NTCA Technical Committee. And I'm John Aldridge. And today we're representing custom building products. We want to welcome you to this month's Tile TV Tips for installing glass tile. Glass tile continues to gain popularity for both residential and commercial projects. Once used almost exclusively as an accent, these tiles are now used to cover much larger areas. And if you haven't noticed, they're growing much larger in size. As a result, a new standard, ANSI 137.2, along with setting materials have been developed to address the unique requirements for manufacturing and installing these glass tiles. The new standard identifies three different types, cast glass tile, fused glass tile, and low temperature coated glass tile. It also defines large format glass tile as any with dimensions greater than three inches by three inches. After all the testing and review of these tiles, the standard recommends the use of a high-performing thin-set mortar meeting the requirements of ANSI A118.4 with bond strengths greater than 400 PSI in shear bond strength. Due to the very smooth surface of glass tile, it's important to use a premium, high-performance mortar with high polymer content as polymer will enhance the bond to the tile. Tip number one, ensure your tile meets the new standard. Some glass tiles available through small boutique glass tile manufacturers do not meet the requirements of the new 137.2 standard. It's important that each one be assessed for suitability for your project usage. Failure can occur when these tiles are subjected to moisture and thermal changes. Tile backings, such as metallic and painted options, are not compatible with cement-based mortars. The alkali in the cement can react with these backings in wet environments, resulting in discoloration or complete loss of bond. If the tiles are mounted on mesh for installation, the adhesive used may not resist water immersion or contact with wet adhesive. The adhesive may not be compatible with cement-based mortars and require an epoxy mortar. Tip number two, surface preparation is key to success. As with any adhered installation, your bond is only as good as what you bond to. The surface must be sound, stable, and able to accept a bonding mortar. It has to be free from contaminants that could affect performance. The wall or floor that you're installing over must be rigid and free from deflection. Remember, we're installing glass. Consider adding additional blocking or bracing, using a mortar bed as a base for floor tile over wood framing. Consider your movement joint location as part of your preparation, especially in showers and steam rooms. And if you patch the surface, apply patch over the entire area to reduce variations in the substrate's porosity when using transparent or highly translucent tile. Check with the manufacturer to confirm if a membrane is recommended or not recommended at all. Tip number three, use the appropriate thin set mortar and use it correctly. Custom Building Products has filled the need for a glass tile bonding mortar to meet these new requirements, appropriately named glass tile premium thin set mortar. In addition to the high performance bond strength, a very important factor is mortar color for many glass tiles. With clear and translucent glass, the mortar is seen right through the tile and dramatically affects its final appearance. To help eliminate visible variations behind the glass tile, Glass Tile Premium Mortar is only available in a quality controlled bright white color. In typical installations, a mortar is applied with a notch trowel and ridges, and tiles are pressed into the mortar in a back and forth method. While this may not be an issue for opaque glass tile, knock the ridges flat and back butter translucent or transparent tiles and eliminate those voids in the mortar. Glass Tile Premium Thinset Mortar was formulated for easy spreading to help in this process. It is also formulated to resist excessive shrinkage, which is critical with a smooth glass surface. Tip number four, check your grouting requirements. After the Thinset Mortar is dried sufficiently and set firmly, you're ready to grout. Check the manufacturer's recommendation for grout type and assure that the grout you choose will not scratch the glass surface or be too rigid and prevent typical glass expansion as occurs normally in thermal changes. Always prepare a mock-up. A great suggestion in the use of grout is custom Fusion Pro Grout, which is the ultimate in color consistency, stain and crack resistance. Like glass tile, it never requires sealing. Fusion Pro is a clean-as-you-go grout, so when working alone with glass tile, only grout as far as you can reach, about 10 or 12 square feet at a time. Always carefully read the instructions for all products used in order to have a successful installation. Tip number five, always place movement joints. 
We see few failures with glass tiles, but when we do, they're usually related to exposure to heat or sunlight. Remember, the coefficient of thermal expansion of glass tile installed with our glass tile mortar is very different than that of ceramic and typical thin-set mortars. You must incorporate adequate soft movement joints in the tile assembly to allow expansion and prevent cracks or bond failure by compressive forces. The movement joint placement guidelines in detail EJ171 in the TCNA handbook should be followed based on the thermal expansion rate of the glass tiles and your project conditions. Joints should be treated with a sealant meeting the requirements of ASTM C920. Custom Building Products commercial 100% silicone meets these requirements. Using glass tiles in your next project will deliver years of lasting beauty. Just be sure to use a mortar specifically designed for performance, along with the other quality products with its distinctive category of tile. For more information, visit www.custombuildingproducts.com. Thank you for joining us for this month's Tile TV Tile Tip. I'm Mike Michelizzi with Custom Building Products. See you next month. Research, production, and distribution by OMG National and its Tile TV division. For a full-service approach to marketing in a self-service world, call, click, or visit OMG National today.